What's up, boys? Um, I am going to show you how to farm and grind, and how all the abilities work, tips and tricks, for the new Uncon update. So, you first get off spawn, you know, you'll start off with a trash ability, like, always, unless, you know, you've been blessed by Jesus, or sucked some developer cock, but, you know, we don't talk about that. Anyway, so, I, yeah, I, I've been playing the game, so, I kind of have to, uh, use one of my ability slots to, uh, do this. So, first plus, Zeke. I'm gonna be real here. Not even worth it. You go right ahead to Eevee. Because Krail. Krail actually has less HP than the cripples over there. Which is completely retarded. But, you know. You do actually. You know, just go to quest 2. Control. I guess she's best girl. But, you know. And then you get a quest. So I need to defeat 10 mid tiers, which is Krail right there. I am level 1, but if I play this right, I should be able to kill them easily. And I need to turn on my ability. I'm ready to get started. There is a mute command, if you need that. Just type this. And it just turns it off, which is very helpful. So you don't have to be annoyed. But there. Every time you kill one of them, you get some EXP and money. And that thing went up, so pretty dope. I mean, if you really want to cheese them, you could just do this go behind a wall and just continuously strong punch them at like where they can't reach you but you know we ain't, we ain't babies so we're gonna do this right now. um explosion did recently get nerfed to the ground i am pretty sure it, they just nerfed the stats of it or the stat gain it does have one ability which is destructive blast kind of like an AoE radius nuke. Uh, obviously, it does zero damage right now, because I'm 1.0, you know. A few moments later. ...is a really big thing in the game again, because first off, NPCs are so much closer to each other, and amps are... Everyone's low level, so everyone has to get money and everything uh, and they just want to get money as fast as they can so amp farming you'll see everyone with king do it last one yes npcs are really dumb in this game so they're just letting me punch them boom 10 out of 10 that's gonna be as i say 2000 exp 100 1,500 cash, you just go back to Eevee, thank you so much, I won't get bullied to school today, and have all my money, boom, see that, just leveled up, powers at 1.7, defense speed 1.2, trick also went up by 0.7, so... <laughs> Here's spawn, right? This is spawn. Over here, you could buy amps and cut your hair. This one, it doesn't do anything really. But yeah. Over here is the amp dealer. You could buy amps. It increases your level by 50%. And when your, when your amp timer runs out, 
you will be half your original level. So anytime you see anyone amp farm, they're just gonna be weak after they DM. And over here, this is the main thing, very main thing you want to go to, which is the Specter Lab. And over here, you can talk to this NPC, and you could reroll for 5,000 to get new abilities. The rates, they are abysmal. Um, So basically, for a low tier, 15%, mid tier, 53%, elite tier, 30%, high tier, 2%, and to get a god tier, it is 0.1%. And that is the rates for everything. For this, the rerolls, the styles, um the fists, and the auras. So, I will show you guys. I can't reroll right now, because I have this on, so it blocks me from rerolling. But over here, styles, you get a spin for 10k, and it will give you a random style, which is augment, so that's what I got. Um, mid tiers, like I said, are 53% chance of getting, and it will increase my highest stat by 0.21, which is pretty decent actually, because your everything about this game, it's your stats. Your stats help you so much in this game. Over here, you have the fitness. So this is the gym. You know, sometimes go over here and find my friends like powerless PvP, which is pretty fun. Uh, fitness, you could. So basically, every time you buy a, some fitness, that it basically costs 10k to buy the first one, and then every time you buy more fitness, it goes up by 10k each time. So. Uh, to max out full fitness is about 2 million. Over here is the fists. It has the same rates as everything else, and it's cheaper, so... Uh. Oh, shoot. Yeah, okay. Um, you can't make that up. <laughs> what? I'm so confused. <laughs> yeah, so I just got a 0.1% chance of a god tier fist. And what that does is it increases my damage by 26.6%. That is really good. So, over here, behind the school, so that's spawn. And if we go around the school, over here. This is the Aura Seller, John. 50 gold. You can only get gold from fighting bosses, which bosses spawn here, and every time a boss spawns, it will ask you if you want to teleport. I'm pretty sure every single boss is broken right now, except Arlo, because he's the only one that I ever seem to see. Over here, uh, they just added this, uh, tickets. So basically, if you kill a boss, he has a chance, a low chance, to give you tickets. Like, here's a boss right now. I'll just show you. Let me just do this real quick. <laughs> we don't talk about those, okay? Uh, I'm just gonna put up my regular stuff. Here's one way to cheese the boss, you just go behind this, and you can just use any ranged ability to hit him. It is really brain dead, but I'm not gonna complain, you know. And this is how you cheese bosses. The best thing to actually use against bosses, I would say, is energy blades, because 
when you get two swords out with energy blades, it gives you a little slash thing that even goes through walls. So I'll show you. Here, look at the how fast I can kill the boss with this. It's probably my stats also, but I have seen like three energy blade users just completely destroy the boss really fast. When they all use that same move together. Yeah, you can even get st um, auras from the boss, as you saw there. I got the Rebellion Aura, uh, 3.6, it's kinda low level, but you can also get tickets, and I really want a god tier ticket from the boss, man, but we all know that's not happening, and over here, I will show you each and every quest, oh, yeah, you could, uh, you, if you're rich, you could just buy cash, and completely cheese the game and go re-roll for good stuff so quest one Zeke it's uh basically kill the cripples and god the dialogue that will give you 800 cash and 1000 exp which cripple here wait I think I just do this Yeah, so if you do that, it would basically just give you what you were farming for. Over here, Eevee, you've seen me do this one. It was 1,500 cash, 2,000 EXP. Over here, Sarah, so what I was talking about is if you kill Sarah, it will give you 10,000 cash and 5 gold, which is a really good start uh, to like start the game off because you get two free rerolls over there with 10,000 cash. So you could possibly get a better ability. And I will. Sh there we go. Let me just do this. So, one way you could cheese it is. So, uh, as soon as you punch her, she is 100% instantly going to time stop watch this see and she'll attack you so one thing you could do don't get stuck in an infinite combo <laughs> one thing you could do over here with sarah is go behind this and she cannot hit you from here so one thing you could do is use like a ranged projectile and just kill her from here boom killed uh, you can also, it's really easy with friends helping you, just make sure you don't jump over here. Like, if you're back here and Sarah's right there and you jump by accident, she will jump and go to you. So it's kind of a pain. But, that's that. So, over here, we have Arlo Quest. He will tr maintain school hierarchy. And defeat elite tiers so 5,000 cash and 6,500 exp which is really good uh, Zeke has the health of a cripple when he is in attack mode by the way because I am using his ability right now I really don't have any defense or recovery but as soon as I press R I go into defense mode my skin turns white uh, white privilege by the way and if I press R again, attack mode, which is that, I'll show you what it looks like real quick. So if I do this, ah, let me show you how this works. See, he has like no defense right now, and boom. As soon as I got him low, he went to his defense form, and he turned blue. So that is what you want to watch out for, because if you're low level, Zeke could completely destroy you because he just keeps regenning. Aizen, he just does just an unholy amount of damage because he has a passive, which is his first M1. It basically does the damage of a strong punch. Here, watch this. It does even more damage than a strong punch. There, I'll show you. Let him hit me. Oh, there it is. You see that? Yeah. 
So that's what that does. Uh, over here, it's the final quest where everyone amp farms. So amp, you could use it right here. Amplify. Uh, they do cost money, like different amount of money, depending on the ability you're using and the level of it. So Vulcan to kill high tier. Okay, Remy and Blake. So Blake. He's a bit tricky, because he has an invisible laser that he shoots out of nowhere. Like, I don't know where it comes from his ass, like, it's so random. It, you can't even see it, it just attacks you. So over here, this is the last quest, 10,000 EXP. That is really good. And 7,500 cash for 15 high tiers. So, you just gotta kill them, and you'll receive it. I'll show you what I mean by Blake. So Remy, I don't think she has her shock passive. Yeah, she doesn't. Because lightning, if you use lightning and you go up to something random, it shocks them. You see that? It aggroed her because I shocked her. I'm pretty sure the only NPCs that could use their abilities is Seraphine, which is the time user over there, and Arlo, which is the boss. And Zeke, I guess. But, Remy, you don't see her using that, and, or her shock. Blake, though, he's a bit annoying, because you hit him, he does a lot of damage, basically. I'll show you. I'll use phase shift real quick, and I'll hit him, I'll just strong punch him, and he'll shoot an invisible laser that just deals a lot of damage to me. You see that? Boom, invisible laser, and if I just run around, he'll shoot it again. You see that? Boom. Um, he's a bit annoying to fight, but he's there, I guess. So that's the, that's all the quests. I will now show you tips and tricks of every single ability, and s even s some quote-unquote hidden text that they don't patch so that's gonna be fun the only ability I can showcase is aura because I kind of don't have it but I could just explain it later so let's go from the top of the list to the last one on the list so right here time manipulation it I'm gonna take off all of these so show it stats so time manipulation it is I think it's 6.5 plus or it might be 7 plus but I think it's like 6.5 plus for the level um, to get it at the rerolls so right now I have 7 power 9 speed uh, mostly this thing is all power and speed and that's really it it does have a heal move, so that's hence the low recovery, and low defense because of the heal move also. Its main thing is it can stop time, so if I press F, punch him, see that, he's stuck in place, and you see how it took damage, I can press R. I'll show you the combo every time user does, so 4M1s. Time stop as soon as you do the 4th M1, 2 strong punches, and then M1 again, so I'll, sh I'll show you it. See that? That's a lot of damage, so... It would do more damage if you equip like a style or something, like... Augment finisher, or something that increases your damage. One thing also about this is... you could literally time stop while they're getting stunned here i'll show you so it is really dumb in pvp because i like oh if she's punching me i can time stop and she's boom countered one thing about this though in pvp you have really low defense so you always want to watch out for stuff that does high damage and if you're fighting another time user tip you never want to time stop first because if you time stop first they'll time stop and like right after you time stop and they'll win the time stop trade so next ability 
Phoenix. It actually got recently reworked, which is pretty cool. Uh, you see this F ability, Phoenix Barrage? Complete trash. It never hits unless the person's standing still. Like, here, watch this. You see my point? <laughs> it's so bad. Can I just not damage him? Hello? Blake? You good, homie? Oh! Oh, that's fun. Yep. <laughs> that's probably why. Because update... I'll just continue. And a public server, I guess. It's a bit cringe, but... I guess. Yeah, I, I made the GFX for the game, by the way. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Alright, so... Phoenix. The barrage it never hits unless the person is literally standing still. But it does a lot of damage when it hits. So there are the Phoenix Fire, there are two versions of it. Um one version is you just hold R and okay. I am getting ganked. That's fun. Alright, so, one version of it is, you hold it, when it's red, and you go, just a little blast, and it does radius damage, but the other version to this is, if you are low health, like you see this guy right here, I am going to hit him with the other version, which I have to hold it down fully, and it heals everyone there. The blue flame heals everyone. So that's pretty cool about that. I don't really know any tips about Phoenix because it's really new. But, yeah. One thing actually about this is... Here, I'll show you. If you do die with Phoenix, it does have low defense because of one thing it has. So it has really high regen. And... If I go over here, Phoenix, if I die with Phoenix... It has a revive, which is pretty cool. So, it has a cooldown, obviously, but if you ever die with Phoenix, and you have the cooldown off, you can just revive. Uh, you'll start out with like half your HP, but since... Phoenix has really high recovery, it will instantly get it back. But the only downside, low defense, average speed. Phoenix used to be a 5.0, but now it is a god tier 6.0. Next ability, gravity. So, with gravity, uh, does have crush move, which is... Oh. R, you hold it down, it does that, it's a little crush move, um, you, someone can cancel it if they hit you, so, that's a thing. Rumble Crash, this is a move I never recommend using, cause it never hits, but, I guess it hits there, but, <laughs> if you're fighting someone and they're fast, it will never hit them. But the best move you have with gravity is the black hole. So optimal combo you want to do with it, uh, charge black hole, then hold R to where the black hole is to do even more damage. And you see that? They're all dead. Over here, barrier. What can I say? It's just barrier. Literally, all you do is boop, press R, put barrier down, you can grow it, and you can shrink it uh, to crush people. So, if someone punches your barrier, basically, what happens is they will take Thorn's damage, which reflects a little bit of damage to them. 
recently got, um, I, I would say nerfed, actually, because what happened is they doubled the health, they divided the thorns damage in half, but the only difference is they made it so every time your barrier cracks, so if your barrier reaches a certain health area, it will crack and it will deal damage to you instead. So I would say it's a nerf. Uh, next one, Fire Claws. This one recently got a new move, which I think is pretty cool. So, this thing's passive burn damage right there. So, I'm gonna go over here. So, we can kill them less fast. So, first move, Lash Out. It's kind of like a dash. I was looking right at it. Thank you, game. See that? You dash at them, you hit them. The new move, though, it has a really cool low cooldown, by the way, but the new move is Flame Charade. You can hold it down to charge it, and it is another dash, but I think it does less damage, actually, but... And way longer cooldown. But it does also burn, and it is AoE, unlike the Lash Out. So, one hidden tech that I guess they're never gonna patch would be pressing R, jump, or jump, press R, then hold E, watch this. Yeah. Uh, sometimes it will not lag you back, sometimes it will. The next thing is, I think this guy's trying to kill me. Here, watch this. Oh, bro, it's not there. Ah. Uh, something because he's just show. Alright. Yeah, I could do this. Time stop, explosion. Boom, dead. So basically next one, energy blades. Alright. Back to this. I had to go to a private server again. I couldn't take a single step without someone trying to gank me, so... Yeah. What I said earlier is, is that for the E. If I do get another uh, blade, uh, the first thing that changes is the block. So when I block, it will now become a parry. Block. Thank you for not working on NPCs. Um, so basically what would happen is I would parry someone and only if they use M1 and they will get stunned with the parry. The other move it has is throw, which bop. Just throw your sword. And before I do this is earlier, you saw how I did a dash, but this time throw a slash, and it's spammable, which is really a brain death, but, uh, you know, it just works, I guess. Alright, let's do mute again. Next thing is energy discharge. First move I would show is laser dash, that's exactly what it says, it just lets you dash. Boom. Next one is energy beam, it has two different versions of it. One is you just hold it down, and you'll go, and that'll charge your damage, and it shoots a regular beam. Or you just tap it, so it shoots regular beam. Next thing is if you hold it, see how it turns into three different balls? It shoots out those that they bounce off the walls, and they do even more damage. Here, I'll show you it. See that? Boom. So those are pretty good. And this one, wait, I'll show you the next one, Conjure Disc. Let's be real here, this ability sucks. <laughs> it does have a passive where, depending on the amount of discs you have, your M1s will change and will just dash. See? It just turns into a dash. 
Uh, you could stack up to four discs max, and launch, you could just hold it down to throw even more discs. See that? Alright, next one is... Lightning! This one recently got a new move, which is pretty cool. So, first thing they did is shock, you could finally hold it down. So just hold it down, and just damage. 85 damage, and I'll show you what happens if I just tap it, or I was told it was locked. See that, it's 51 instead of 85. You can charge it now. So, second passive test, shock, you just pop, do that, and it will just deal damage while you're punching it. The newest move, I think it's the best looking move, it's really cool. So if you hold down F, Influx, it's basically like a Spirit Bomb. It's kind of like Gravity, but like more range, and it doesn't suck them in, so do that. And that's the optimal thing you kind of want to do, is M1, Shock, then another M1. That's like the best thing you could do. Before date or before reset on the or data reset, I was actually uh, 9.1 lightning, so I was the lightning main back then. The next one is Hunter. This one, pretty cool. Um, yeah, first M1, just uh, kind of just like a strong punch. The it has is precision blow, which is kinda like a stun, so what you kinda wanna do is 4 M1s, then precision blow, and then more M1s, so 1, 2, 3, 4, and then you see that. Right. Next one is explosion. You saw me use this earlier, it's really good to bosses. So E explosion. M1s turn into explosions. And the R move, it's it's just the nuke. This one, it's usually zero defense, like very little speed, or like no speed, no recovery, but it's all power and trick. Next one, armor suit. This is new, actually. This came with the latest date, or with the new update, yeah. This one, it's mostly power and defense, nothing really to say about that. Its only move is you press R to take zero stun, and that's really it. So watch this. I press R. My arms kind of have that little white thing on it, a little aura on it. So if I do that, thank you, game, for. Oh wait, probably the cooldown. Alright, let me try this one more time. So, see that? I took enough stun, but I still took the damage. So that's basically that. Next one, flash forward. This one, it's all speed, all power, um, lots of trick, which doesn't really do much. Uh, no defense and no recovery. So what this does is, if someone M1s you, you'll dodge it. See that? Uh, you do have a limited amount of dodges, and it does cap out. You're kind of just like boot like MUI Goku. Next one is Phase Shift. I use this so much because at high level, it's basically the fastest thing, but you could only get this at an elite tier, so it's not really optimal to get this. But attack mode, it does your stats. You got like zero defense, zero recovery, but you are all on attack and you do a boatload of damage. So, and you're really fast. Defense mode, so you press R, phase, shift phase, um, over here, I turn into white, and I barely take any damage, and I'm regening, see that? But if I do it here, you see, I heal like nothing. 
The next one is healing. It is very self-explanatory. R to heal. <laughs> you just hold it down. That's really the that, that, nothing else to it. Speed. Uh, this one's kind of like like time. It has the same stats, but like it's all power and speed. But it has no abilities, so it's kind of useless. It's it, all it is is fast. Strong punch. This one. It's kind of like like explosion. It's one of the first abilities they added to the game. So R to clobber, it just does a heavy. See that? Boom. Stone skin. You turn black, and you have the power to say n Um. <laughs> but this one, it's all power, speed, and defense. Um. You have no recoveries, but you do do a lot of damage, and you take very little damage. See that? It's decent, but it's only a mid-tier. Next one, regeneration. There's nothing to say about this except regen. All, all you do is regenerate. You see that? Like, he's doing like- here, wait, let me turn off my ability. Now if I turn it on, boom, regen right away. Next one, invisibility, you just press R, you turn invisible. It even works on NPCs, which is really cool. Um, cooldown would be around like 10 seconds if you're a normal level, but like, I have 13.8 trick with this, so I kinda could just invis all the time. So I'll become visible, and I can just invis again, you see that? Next thing with this is illumination. Basically, it's a blind. It doesn't work on NPCs, it's just kinda cringe, it only works on people. But, I need to wait till I'm visible again, this is fun. Okay, so, illumination. You press R, if you're right in front of someone, it makes their whole screen white. It's really obnoxious. And last one, needles. This is a low tier ability, one of those common ones. And you just hold R to shoot a bunch of needles. That's pretty nice. Yeah, that's basically it to the game so far. But, equipment. Obviously, you get different types of fists, so there are, I think, th four different types of fists you could get. First one is typical, second one is vampire, third one is strong, um, fourth one is almighty, which is that one I have. Styles, there's a bunch of styles, but the only good one I have is Supreme Gene, but it's not even that good. It just increases my chances by 0.1, but I still somehow roll 1.0s. Does that even make sense? No. Right. Auras, they basically buff whatever ability you have with it, which is pretty nice. So what I usually use is I use Rebellion, because I'm always using Phase Shift, and it makes me faster with Phase Shift also. So over here, see that, I'm really fast. This eyes and still after me. <laughs> yeah, so that's basically it to the game. Pretty pog update if I do say so myself. And see you. <laughs>